by God's wonderful grace and mercy and through the Holy Spirit direction, we want to continue with our personalized proclamation, which is God's word. We personalize to our lives and this time we've reached a wonderful, they are all wonderful, right? Uh, Psalm 119, which when we look at our Holy Scriptures, we find that they are broken into sections. We have, uh, you know, one to nine sectioned as, as one prayer. And then uh, the next one is alphabetized. We have uh, uh, Aleph and Beth and uh, uh, all the different uh, sections that have been broken down so that when we started, when people in the olden t time studied it, they were not because Psalm 119, as we know, is the longest of all the Psalms. And if we are uh, to go through them prayerfully, we will find that they have a lot of powerful messages or that's uh, juice, if we can call it. And the 100 to 176, all of them are broken down uh, by a section so that we will be able to study them. And in this case, as we proclaim them, they are just powerful. So as we proclaim them, let us ask again, we already did from the beginning, that God should enable us internalize what has been personalized for us in the Holy Scripture. So here we are as we go through uh, Psalm 119, not yet, verses 1 to 8 is what we want to uh, proclaim from our personalized proclamation. So uh, here is God's word. Blessed are the undefiled in the way who walk in the law of the Lord too. Blessed are they that keep his testi testimonies and that seek him with the whole heart. Three, they also do no iniquity. They walk in his ways for thou has commanded us to keep thy precepts diligently five oh that my ways were directed to keep thy statutes six then shall i not be ashamed when i have respect unto all thy commandments. Seven, I will praise thee with uprightness of heart when I shall have learned thy righteous judgments. Eight, I will keep thy statutes. Oh, forsake me not utterly. Amen. Now let us all personalize the psalm we just read, Psalm 119, 1 to 8, which says, O oh, my heavenly Father and Jehovah Jari, the Lord God, my provider, hallowed be your blessed name. Thank you for granting me the justification by faith and union with your begotten Son, my Lord and Savior Jesus Christ. Also, thank you for my Lord's substitutionary and sacrificial atonement, death on Calvary's cross and his resurrection for all saints. My Almighty and Heavenly Father, blessed are the undefiled 
Christians in our ways who walk in your holy laws. Blessed are believers who keep your testimonies, who seek you with our whole hearts. We also do no iniquity. We walk in your righteous way. Holy Father, you have commanded everyone to keep your precepts diligently. Oh, I thank you that my ways have been directed to keep your holy scriptures and I shall not be ashamed when I meditate on all your old and new commandments. I shall praise you with uprightness of heart as as I continue to learn your holy scriptures and I shall keep your statutes. O oh, gracious Jehovah, please do not forsake me utterly when I sin against you and repent. Amen. Thank you, merciful Father, for answering my prayers in the blessed name and righteousness of my Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. Psalm 119 verses 1 to 8 has been personalized in the New King James Version. Amen.